Yeah. Guys, welcome to Doped Up Comedy. Before we get into the episode, let's all just take off our glasses. What the fuck? All right, dude. We're going to go find out what the fuck happened with him on the entire episode of Doped Up Comedy. This episode, David got stabbed. In the face. And we're not joking this time. Tonight we party, my friends. Sip on mezcal, I like tequila. Damn, this shit tasty. Can you not I made about a million off a of pink beanie? I feel like my life is a movie, then it's too easy. Can't catch me, I'm jumping the borders, hit the embassy. It's bag or die. Guys, welcome to another great episode of Doped Up Comedy. I am your host, Dylan J. Negri. Sitting beside me is the big quesadilla of comedy. That's Kevin Sanchez. Yo. How you feeling, Kevin? Let me say something, bro. You can never get a quesadilla wrong. <laughs> you can never get a quesadilla. Says, uh, anytime you get a quesadilla at your table and it, and it comes through, you're like, I'm glad I ordered this. You would pay $18 for a quesadilla and be happy? That's how good a quesadilla is. Yo, bro, especially if it's short ribbed. <laughs> That's a big quesadilla of comedy. And sitting on the other side of the table is not our other co host. The Daffable DC is actually in. And we can turn it down a little bit, Natalie. I'm just this guy's just talking nonsense over my. You know, just turn it off. This guy's just talking. Ju- this is this is what. It, by the way, if you don't live in New York, that's what it's like to talk to your friends on the subway. He's just talking to you, trying to have a conversation while some dudes in the corner going, Michael Jackson." Like you know, just some shit like that. You know? I don't know. The guy on the train was pretty clear with what he wanted. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, and we'll get to that. That that voice and that face that you see over there is our young producer back. David Clash. How are you doing? How are you doing? DC's in uh so DC's in San Francisco, I think, or somewhere. Well, he's he, in he's what? in the great state of Washington. Oh, he's in Washington up um doing Seattle. the Keenan Thompson um like o- Olympics almost called it. The yeah. Keenan Thompson Thompson Comedy Olympics where he's trying to come back with a goal for his community. I don't know. Um but for the people that don't know, David Clash is our co- uh, is our co-producer and also helps us produce the, sh- the live shows and he uh, is second mic on this show. Um, young buck, young buck in the comedy community, working his ass off, working his ass off, big hustler from and, Coney, and we're gonna big give him, Brooklyn out here, and we're gonna give him his intro. I just gotta, I just gotta, I just gotta preface you guys. Last week I got a, uh, I got a DM in the morning, seven in the morning, from your girl saying, "Hey, David never came home last night. We were out doing shows. It was a very scary moment." And then Kevin called me and said, "Hey, man, David got stabbed." Yeah, and I was like, "What? Where is my dude?" So we uh, we found David. We went to the hospital. My man went through hell and back, but he's here to tell the story. <laughs> yeah. Pretty, oh God. oh shit! Yep. Damn. That, that's us. Yeah. That's us in you. Look, look look at you. Look, you came such a far away. Look at that. But listen, I went and listen. This is a very this this is a very serious topic. If you actually want to go donate, to, um, go get us. To, I think our, our goal now is fifteen thousand. If you guys want to go donate, go to the GoFundMe. But back. And better than ever, surviving. It's our man, David Motherfucking Slash. Yeah, yeah, it feels great. Feels great. How's it feel to be alive? Pretty good, pretty good. You know, I'm like still. Uh, it's great to be here. So, you know? so I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say this, David. In uh, the, uh, the our, 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 we're all doped up comedy, but we are on the low, doped up and dying. That's the name of the podcast, right? Mm-hmm. On the low. During our tenure of doped up and dying, me and you, the first people to ever be doped up and almost dying, bro. Be fucking, that's my guy, bro. That's my motherfucking guy, bro. <laughs> Wait, when the it. fuck did you almost die? Mexico, bro. OD. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was that on purpose? <laughs> was that on purpose? Was that an o- what kind of OD was nah, that? You OD'd. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. I thought you meant OD like, yo. Yo, he's OD doing too much right, right now. <laughs> he's doing too much. By the way, I, I, that stands for both. I'm doing, I'm, I'm doing both constantly. Um, but David, so... Yeah, I got the call that you were uh, you were uh, hurt. I jumped in the Uber well, immediately. It's interesting because I receive a te- I receive a DM from your your best friend, and he, yo, he immediately went stab. I'm like, oh shit! I'm just hoping like no vital organs. Yeah, I didn't know what happened. I didn't right? know where. I didn't know, he, I, I didn't know where or anything. Yeah. So you want to? I mean, I don't even know where to start with this though. So how about this? We were drinking that night. Let's just start there from when you left me. So we went to a show. Uptown, like um, Upper East Side, Upper East yeah, Side, eighty fourth, eighty fourth Street Bar. How good was the show? Pretty good. It wasn't it? Wasn't terrible. It Outdoor wasn't terrible. show. Actually, it wasn't terrible. Did you get up? Nah, it was just I, I just DC, took pictures. DC ended up trying to go up, and not trying. He up. did go up. Uh, he did yeah, go up. I he left DC uh, just before he went up. I went to do a mic at Soho Playhouse with my friend Ada, 
And the mic was, instead of starting at 10.30, it started at 11.30 because there was a show before. Goddamn. Mm. So I only, I was the 18th, 19th person to sign up. Oh, my God. And I only got up on stage around one. You're making me so angry right now. <laughs> yeah, he has no idea how angry I'm getting right now. Yeah. Because. Why are you angry, Kev? If you're producing a fucking show, <laughs> okay, maybe you don't tell comics. This is what that fucking booker did. I don't, oh, I, oh, 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 I, I don't know who the booker is. Don't give a fuck. You couldn't bring people. So what you did was you lied about what time the open mic was so that way open mics could sit there and, and watch the comedians that you book, promised book. A, 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 a crowd of people. For the people listening, this is just uh, inside angry baseball from So Jeff. it's not even inside. I thought, he was angry at, I thought he was angry at me for a moment. No, for no, I'm, no, I'm angry good. at these producers. You can't bring people. Maybe don't book a show yet. Maybe it's not your time. Maybe you sure. you can't produce a show right now. Who's the booker? I don't I don't no. remember the show before, honestly. I wasn't even paying. I was it's just fine. hanging out outside Who's with the booker? You start, you start going. Who, who, give me names. I sh I bet you I know who it is too. Okay. Um so you go do an open mic. Yeah. You I get out of the mic around like literally after I left. Me and like me and Ada went back to back on the fucking mic. And I get out around like one forty five ish, you know. Jesus. Yeah. So I get out and I was just like, because Ada lives in Staten Island. So I was just walking her That's to That's your a, friend. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I was walking her to the bus just to make sure she got on the bus okay, you know. And then I went down to the train station. And uh, I got on the train, but the train was running local. So it took even more fucking stops just to get back to Coney. You know, That's so, a, bro. I used to take that train ride. Bro, I, I got I got off on the Q train. I got on the Q train on a local stop. You know what I mean? I got what off, I mean? Like... You know how like you have like and the Q train usually runs express to get to Brooklyn. So it has only pretty much two stops just for you to get to already Brooklyn, like downtown mm -hmm. Brooklyn. And I the fucking train was running local that night. So instead of like so Manhattan, it was on the R line for like an extra five stops. I even got on the one of the regular R stops. Just and that's actually going it. 10 miles an hour. It's not even going the speed it's supposed to go at yeah. that time. There's a bunch of construction being done in New York City. And so you're on this motherfucking train and you. You fall asleep. I fall asleep. Yeah, I've pretty much fell asleep listening to a Dave East album. Yeah. Hey, Yo, Dave he, East. He showed me the song. Hey, Dave East. He showed me the song that he got stabbed to. Oh, you you got stabbed? You got <laughs> bro, stabbed to a soundtrack, dog? Bro, I got stabbed to Kid Capri yelling in my ear, bro. Uh, <laughs> what's the song? What's the song? Uh, he got stabbed to a dude. It's in on the. Going, I don't know the name. I don't know the name of the song, but it's Dave East and Cool and Dre. That's Dave what it is. Cool and Dre. That sounds like a good song. Yeah, Cool and Dre, What's great producers. What's you it know? Bad? You know? What were you going to say to Dave East? Hey, Dave East. How about you liven your shit up, doc? <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, you can't wait. Yo, you gotta wait. I need some wake a dude up from a uh, sleep music. So I mean, you so you pass it on the train. Yeah, I fell asleep which on the I've train. Which I've told you multiple times not not to do. I usually I haven't been doing it that much these this recently. Also, though. I want to say. Uh, also, I want to say for the viewers, um, David isn't wearing glasses because he's trying to look like Tom Cruise. David got stabbed in the face, so uh, uh, so there, there's there's a there's a cut hiding over, under those glasses that we a will. Cut. <laughs> oh, yeah, a you're cut? right. I'll cut. I mean, a stab, David a slash. slash, a slash. That's uh, that uh, David will tell you, uh, and we'll we'll, sh we'll 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 show you in a second. So, David, you fall asleep. What happens next? I fall asleep. And I wake up to a guy on uh, around like Cortelli Road stop, and he pushes me up my seat, cuts me immediately. Right? Immediately, maybe my my idea is that like maybe he tried to wake me up before, and since I fell asleep with my phone in my hand, mm -hmm. right? Maybe I was just ignoring him, and I was like, because I had my head down, you know, it looked like I was just probably. Do you think, do you think there's a wait, moment you were just asleep and he was just talking shit to an asleep person? Like, hey, yeah. motherfucker, wait, wait, you ain't scared of me? Yeah, I, I I feel like there might have been a moment like that. I don't know. Okay. Damn, I wonder what kind of weird dreams you were having, right? Because you didn't have you didn't have noise canceling headphones. I'm assuming. No, I mean I had the Beats of the plug in ear uh, headphones, you know. Okay. So it's like they were definitely I didn't hear shit, and then I just wake like he pushes me up, cuts me with the box cutter. You wake up to that. I wake up to that. And he's like, "Give me your phone," and I'm like, tucking the like like I'm in shock. I'm like, I just woke How, up. You do know? you feel like now? You say you're in shock. Do you feel like? Your heart beating fast. Your heart is beating adrenaline fast. Adrenaline starts hitting your body. Start kicking or no? I was like, it was like adrenaline. Yeah, because I didn't really feel it. 
You know what I mean? It's not like it happens so quick. It happens so quick, and I was just lucky enough to being like, take off my shirt. I just hold pressure like I'm a fucking World War II veteran right mm -hmm. now, you know, and just fucking hold it down as much as I can before I get to the closest. Did you hospital know, know? Did you know it was bad? When it happened. Yeah, I saw the reflection through the advertisement, and I was just... I, and I would not to mention I was leaking... How much blood? Yeah. Yeah, like, my jeans were soaked in it, you know? I had a vape that was completely soaked in it, threw that shit out, you know? Fuck. <laughs> Yo, by the <laughs> way, there was a moment... Probably, Yo, be, yeah. be honest, be honest with me. Even while you were cut, bloodied up, was there a moment before you threw that nick out, you were like... I mean, it's my blood. I mean... <sighs> Nah, you see, because I was worried about the cut and like, you know, because you know, what? what, what <laughs> I, like a cartoon, he takes a hit of the pen. Goes, oh, no, <laughs> I definitely knew I was going to need a cigarette sooner or later. But yeah. I was just like, there's with the blood pressure concept of you like, know you know, cigarettes I smoked the day I found out David got stabbed. I like I went back to the house. And it was me, Carolyn, D.C. just chain smoking like in silence. Like, what the fuck's happening out here? Bro, it was crazy. So you see your reflection, you're I, bloodied up, you put in the thing, you give him your phone. Does he say anything? He says afterwards to give him, uh, so he's like, yo, give me money. And I'm like, I don't got money. He's like, what do you mean you don't have money? I'm like, I'm fucking taking the train at 3 a.m. right now. Like, <laughs> he goes, hey, know your audience, man. Uh, like, what yeah. the fuck? Now let me ask you a question. How many people were on the train? There were like four people. So people saw this happen? People saw this happen. But they didn't do anything? One per they try one guy tried to, but he was like trying to check up on me right after. But the guy was like, "Yo, get the fuck away, or else I'm gonna hurt you." Right? How big was this guy? He was taller. He was like he was and built. Pretty tall. He you're was taller than me. I, I mean, I was sitting to be fair, but so it's like you stood up, you scared him. I, it's like I, I'm not even sure the guy's height. Honestly, like I don't even know that much. It's crazy. It's like I don't even know anything Anyone about the train this guy. Say anything? One yeah, like one guy tried to approach me while I got cut, but he's like, "Get the fuck away!" And he's just like sitting like diagonally from me. And then when he got off at Newkirk, he's like, "Nobody, uh, nobody, get off the train, and uh, uh, you know, or else I'm gonna hurt you." So what a pussy. He pretty much uh, as soon as that guy got off the train, the guy comes up to me and he's like, "Yo, bro, you all right?" And I'm like, "How's it looking?" Like, "Oh shit, right? Oh, fuck, yeah." That's never the thing you oh man, hear. when the reaction is like, "Yo, bro, yo. you all right?" You go. Oh, wait, shit. Kevin, Kevin, ask me how. Uh, I'm going to do it to you. I'm going to do it to you. Oh, fuck. Oh, 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 what? Is it bad? <laughs> no, nah, I mean, bro, and what's crazy is that that guy was already having a bad day, the guy who saw my cut. How do you know that? <laughs> yo, 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 that's how nice David is. David's cut asking him about his day. He goes, how was your day? He goes, actually a shit. Nah, because look. This so, is making my day longer, Wait, sir. how did you know he had a bad day? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I not know how the fuck. So did you I, read that? He goes, so he goes I, you're one eye available. So when I was, um, I tried calling my friend as soon as it happened to pick me up. Because I was like thinking, bro, if they don't if they don't catch this guy, there's just going to be a shitty ambulance fee on me. You know what True. I mean? So to, why do you say that? Welcome to America. Because uh, for me, That's I've why. I've paid for an ambulance before. No, no. Why do you say if they don't catch the guy, that bill is on you? Because I feel like there's no one. They, they don't know who's they, responsible. He's, like, he's well, like they need to charge him. Yeah, I feel like you know it's like a. I feel like there's an owner of obligation of oh, uh, towards I see what that. You're saying, but that's not how that works. And you, you know cut, that now. You cut me. Yeah, I know now. For, you pay for ambulance, <laughs> bro. I, I mean, like I was just worried that I'm like, bro, I was, this is fucking ridiculous. Yeah, and he wasn't thinking straight. He got stabbed yeah, in the face. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I, honestly, I thought they were gonna. The, the first thing I thought about was my insurance fees. All so right. <laughs> no, no, I don't blame you for that, bro. Because I was thinking immediately, holy fuck, I hope he didn't call an ambulance. Yeah. The first thing, and then when your boy said, somebody hit me up saying, did you call an ambulance? I'm like, yo, how does that shit work? Does the city cover that shit? Like, I got worried for my book because, yo, this city's crazy expensive. Yeah. And it's ruthless. Yeah. It is a ruthless city. So you call your boy, he picks up? He didn't pick up because it was 3 a.m. and he was sleeping already. Why don't you call me? Uh, I didn't know if you were, I, I don't know. Your, I, number. I don't know your number off the top of my head. I know. I, I know. I your, David? To, to and not fair, to mention, to you don't fair, have your phone got stolen. I'll let you go on this. And one. you don't have a New York area code, so it's tough for me to remember your like, number. I respect that. You know what I mean? So you start calling. So hey, what do you do? Switch that so shit up, Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> so you so you call you call your boy. He doesn't answer. What do you do next? So well, the, the way the reason why I know he had a bad day, the the guy. <laughs> I want to know this. 
Yeah, yeah, what? Because um, so right before the call, his it showed that his he was mom the Joker, was calling. He goes, I had one bad day. <laughs> Bro, it was like he showed that his mom's was calling, and he's like, Yo, just give me a second, because my sister just passed away today. Oh my god, bro! And I was like, Holy no, be real shit! With you. Do you think that guy got Holy home and was like, What am I doing in the city, bro? Well, I mean, his. I mean, yeah, that guy moved. That guy, <laughs> that guy no longer lives here. Yeah, and he got off like two stops before I was got to yeah, the. There's a curse in Coney, huh? That's what the C in Coney stands for. <laughs> and curse. curse. <laughs> and it's um, crazy, but it's like so, so, so he's his sister just died. He just watched a, a little white kid get stabbed. He's dealing with his life. Well, a big tall white kid gets stabbed. Big tall white kid, you're right. Honestly, yeah. you're 100 right. Um. The guy is telling people to back up. He asked for your passcode. By the way, wait, he asked for your passcode. Yeah, he did ask for my passcode. And you, and of course, obviously, you need to give it to him. At this That's point. how he yeah. messaged yeah. us. Are yeah. we yeah. going to talk about that? Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. We, we get Natalie. Story progression. So, so I I'll also remember out. you telling yeah. me in the story. Something that was very funny to me. Like, in the moment you're telling me, like, that's probably the funniest thing I've ever heard. What did he say? He runs away and he goes, I'm sorry. <laughs> Is did that he really true? say I'm sorry? He did say sorry. And, yo, honestly, there was a moment where I was going to think, I was thinking about forgiving him. You know, when I was in the fucking thing. David, you know? if you with a bloody face screamed back, it's, it's okay. okay. I would have fought, I would have fought you. I would have never started the GoFundMe. You really thought, you really, <laughs> did you, why did you want to forgive him? Because I grew You're up a like good kid. I'm bro. My mom, my mom grew up Christian. You know, I grew up on the idea you forgive, mm -hmm. and you know, like forgive and forget. But you know, it's like, like I, I can't forget this. It's like I'm not going to forget this. You know, mm -hmm. there's no reason. Uh, there's no way I'm going to uh, so, at this point. So he's he. This is why, by the way, you need to have a, a passcode that's like 17 digits. I'm be real with you. I'm changing. You need my a passcode that isn't your birthday. Is no, no, I'm noticed. changing my passcode. No, my <laughs> passcode is like four easy numbers. It's the same number. Repeating. Bro, my, my birthday got too many zeros, bro. It's an easy password. Bro, <laughs> imagine, but imagine you. He went through all this. By the way, so he stabbed you first and then asked for the phone. So he, he stabbed first. Asked he questions caught, later. This is what I don't understand about this robbery. Is if I do some shit like that, you have to know there's a, then a I'm meal turning ticket. to the other four people. And I'm like, also, you guys put I'm, your phones I, I'm, I'm in, debt at this in the point. middle of the train because I am thinking to myself, I just showed you what I'm capable of. I don't give a fuck, fuck clearly. This guy was asleep. I stabbed him in the face. Ah. And then I took his phone. He got no money. I need some money. Y'all got some money. Let's give me some money. Going. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's the way. I, I don't understand this robbery at all. Yeah, I will say because David goes, I have no money, and looked at. By the way, your phone's like a your old phone was like like a cracked old iPhone. So, but again, imagine if you had like a set. Like, what's your passcode? Three six nine two ten ninety seven one two three four eight five six four. What? Bro, I would probably <laughs> just gave you the phone bag. I probably would have lost blood trying to recite that number. <laughs> <laughs> you just okay. hold it to your face. Yo, yeah, yeah. He just goes. Oh, by the way, he yeah. holds it to your face and goes. Probably shouldn't cut your face. Probably should have done that. After. Nah, no, nah, no. I was lucky because I dropped that phone so many times that face ID wasn't working. That's no, man, it wasn't gonna work. Your face, <laughs> yeah. your face was an ID, ideable. Yeah. So I still don't face, even have a uh, face ID on the new phone yet because I'm like I'm waiting for my face to get. Your better. face looks like the phone screen that you dropped on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, 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 that's a, that's a. That's a good one, man. <laughs> that's a little ice, ice baby. Yo, can we? Uh, I mean, so can we, we gotta we gotta reveal. Wait, wait, we gotta, no, hold on. Can we get some music or something? So ready, hold on, ready. The best part about it is we still don't care what none of y'all think. I don't know. That's good enough. Whoa, 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 there, feller! You want to get through the podcast, but first you gotta go support our sponsor, Zia Farms. You like topicals? You like Delta A? And do you like the fucking party? And you're on the West Coast? Well, guess what? Zia Farms does it all. You're gonna go to z e f h e m p dot com and use code Doped Up for like fifty percent off. You could get some good deals. So you want to get back into this ruined tune podcast? Go to Zia Farms. Come back, and we're going to have some fun. DC, where's that Jamaican Darth Vader? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I was dead ass. I was dead ass. Damn. I was dead ass getting used to the color on these. These, these, these are great Yo, colors. He got so close to your eye. Dude, you, you're so fucking lucky. Oh, sorry. Ooh, no, that's a good one. He's a hater. Damn, bro. Oh, my God. Yeah.
God damn. Getting the stitches out tomorrow, though. I mean, that is the fastest I've ever heard stitches That's come crazy. out of somebody's face. Apparently, the face heals up quicker than other parts of the body, so... Mm. We're going to take care of you. So, um... So, he... Does anything else happen in between him screaming at people and saying, I'm sorry? Uh... Not really. Nah, he just said, just going back "Give me your phone, give me your money. What's goes, your I, passcode?" Uh, my fault, bro. And then ran off. And then, I, and then he's like, "Nobody get off the train, or else I'm gonna fucking hurt you." Do you think there was some? By the way, do you think there was somebody that was on that train that was like, "I just rode this local to get home." <laughs> This motherfucker's gonna make me do a whole loop. Ah! <laughs> it was weird too, cause it's like in terms of first response, once you hear uh, it, it on the radio that somebody got stabbed in the face, I saw two trains depart at, at the same station. What does that mean? So, like for example, when I was at the station, I got off, and then two more trains and people got off at three in the morning. You know what I mean? There's so many people at three in the morning, bro. I'm saying that the cops arrived quicker than the train did. No, no, the cops arrived way after the train. At three in the morning, that's kind of crazy. Yeah, I can understand during rush hour traffic. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense to me. But at three in the morning, you're saying you're sitting there just watching trains go by, waiting for police. I'm dead ass standing in front of the station with blood on my face and watching people pass by and like trying to look but not look. Yeah, people are like trying to mind their business hard. Right? By the way, people by the way, like, no, it's the worst. People are like, yo, I don't want to get involved. I just saw a new yeah. homeless kid. The kid's about to be homeless. Bro, there was, there was a couple wearing white, and I was just like, oh, yeah, they're definitely, they, they can't help me right now. <laughs> <laughs> a whole co- two, a couple wearing white. Yeah, black, white, black, black yeah. or white people. What? Black or white people. They're like Russian, so they're like, it's like, it's like, it's like, you can't, I, like, yeah, I knew they were Russian just because of the neighborhood. And it's also because okay. it's like, but I can't tell what part of the Soviet Union, you know, because you also have like the Muslim Russians and they're about like Middle Eastern combined a with Russians. A little bit of a civil war over there. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, so you, you get off the, you get off the train, you call an ambulance for yourself with the guy's phone that also sister just passed. Yeah. Well, well no, man, wait, no, no, me? I would, no, no. So I called an ambulance <laughs> off the station that I got off at, at Sheepshead. Like the little button thing. A booth lady. I was like, there was a. Hey, bo- can you call somebody? I was like, please? yeah, I was like, call an ambulance Wait, right now. She didn't open up her booth. She did. She did. She check up on me, gave me na- napkins and okay, stuff like okay. that to try to hold it down. She was. Like, I just ate a Philly cheesesteak. Nah, you got some cheese on here. <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> but here, you you can still use please it. Please tell me you put MTA napkins in your face, dog. Nah, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. They have like you know like because from COVID they still got those stare the and oh, the pre package. I just thought there was like you listen the stab wound is not the problem. <laughs> it's the like, goddamn napkins you use. You got some Coney Island sand. <laughs> um. <laughs> So you, so the dude, the dude with the, the with the daughter, with the sorry, with the sister that passed, how does he say bye to you? He's like, bro, best of luck. You just try to. It's like you know, like <laughs> he goes, he goes, put some ice on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, walk that shit off, dog. He be alright. Yeah, bro. It. It People get stabbed in New York every day. Every B. day, B. <laughs> it was so, crazy. so, so the ambulance arrives. Yeah. Um. Come start from there. So you see the ambulance. You happy? You excited? I was like, all right, but I felt like these dudes were dumb. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, no. It was like no. the cops felt dumb and the dudes felt dumb because I'm like holding it, right? And the way. Like, which tra- eye? And they're like, I'm like, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the, you know, like when they like, a, when you hold down a wound at, for waiting, at, for like waiting an ambulance, right? And they're like, all right, let's I see. I don't know that, but sure. But like, it's like they're like, all right, let's see this shit. And I feel like them just peeling it the wrong way, you know what I mean? Where oh, it's just okay. like this skin uh, by the detaching. Way, by the way, this is sometimes happens when you're hurt because the people that are taking care of you are doing it meticulously and they're kind of like not they kind of care about your pain but they don't so yeah. they'll, they'll like rip off the bandage like ah they're like they'll open it up looks good it looks pretty bad in there it's, it's like you forget that emts don't go to med school yeah, yeah. you know so it's like you kind of get you like know this... emts aren't supposed aren't allowed to diagnose you yes i don't know most that. emts nurses but it's funny because like there's been times I, I read a story the other day. I sort of got I started cut, like of someone who like lost their leg and they're like, so how bad is it? They're like, I can't diagnose you. They're like, do I have my is my leg in? Like, where's my leg? They're like, can't diagnose you. He's like, I, it's gone. I mean, it's pretty obvious what's going on here. And it's just the idea of just like, hey man, if I cut my face, can't diagnose you. Yeah, no, it really did feel like a WebMD moment. Honestly. What would you want to be diagnosed with? I diagnose you with cut face. Like, what could <laughs> they possibly you with tell you? Living in New York. So, what's the so the EMT? They feel kind of dumb. You get in. 
Are they, are they doing any they just, other than like they're just what they're just giving you like patches or whatever? Well, well, yeah. One guy's sitting in the back. I I can't really see because they wrap my eyes. Sure. So because it's like both of your eyes. Well, yeah, because it was like they were trying they didn't to know hold where it. Was. Okay. They just no. I mean, they saw it, but they were just holding down the pressure and everything sure. like that. You know. Sure. And bro, but the dumbest thing about it was, ambulance gets to the trauma center, right? And I I got off. I didn't go to Coney Hospital. They take me to Lutheran Hospital instead. So pretty much, if I got off the same stop as that guy, right, I could have gotten to the hospital quicker. <laughs> you would have just left the. But I yeah, probably would have gotten stabbed by again. The way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I probably would have gotten stabbed again. <laughs> but that's how much of an asshole this guy was. He stabbed you and then got off at the hospital exit. <laughs> Bro, I'm just what like, a piece of shit, dude. <laughs> And I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, they took me all the way to Sunset Park to Lutherans. And I, bro, cops, first off, I don't know why they need the techno, like the technical aspect of was the train moving or was the train stopped when I got stabbed? I'm like, I don't know. I got stabbed. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I have no idea what was happening. I think because they're like for cameras, I to guess. To find the guy. Well, yeah, but I told them that they got off at Newkirk, you know? So it's like, just check where the stop he got off at. It doesn't yeah, matter roughly what Roughly around this time. Yeah. You got an hour to fill. Yeah. yeah. I was like, no, nah, I was like around three because I remember the phone call that I took it's and the I saw the 48. phone. It's the first 48. And then... um. How do you call it? So, you, so you're in the ambulance. You, I'm, you ambulance, get to, you oh, bro. Get to the hospital. The ambulance, oh. bro. I get they, they. You know how like when they pull out the hospital bed, right? The the ambulance bed, right? And they take out the bottom wheels to yeah. make sure you have that. Didn't take out the bottom wheels. I fall right on the side, bro. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like on the side that I get cut in the face. I'm trying to hold Wait, it you down. Fell on the ground? I fell on the ground. You on the fucking ground? And then the cops think that they can still have time to ask questions. Yo, you know, I'm like, yo, yo, you're on the ground. He goes, "Hey man, I just forgot what I was it again." <laughs> and I'm like, and I'm like trying to pick one. Like they picked me up, and I'm like, I was just annoyed. I, I, I was like, I, I rightfully so. I was like, let's see if these uh, like emergency room got any better or anything like that. Because the cops are already annoying me. The ambulance are already fucking doing this annoying shit, me. right? And then I'm in the emergency room, and I'm like, all right. You know, I need to make this disclaimer. I'm like, guys, I kind of had a traumatic experience now. So if I'm going to sound like an asshole, it's nothing personal. All right. <laughs> Just treat it like one of your shitty fucking medical shows that you were inspired to do. Watch this <laughs> shit. Right. Yeah. And have on with your fucking day. And like, they're like, oh, you mean like Grey's Anatomy? I'm like, like you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, treat it like, a, I don't so know. What, what were you going to ask him? Bro. By I, the way, I went, when I saw David in the hospital, it was the nicest kid in the world. He's oh. standing up with his eyes like, am I, you hungry? He's like, Man, it's okay. I'm like, dude, are you hungry? He goes, yeah, it's, it, I, I mean, maybe. I'm like, but do you want me to go get you a sandwich? He's like, yeah, I heard there's some sandwiches. <laughs> and I was just like, no, Bro, dude. but I was, I, I got really nice once I saw all, um, my mom, my really best friend, happy. Dylan, um, Carol. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the fuck was that? No, I was Your saying- best friend. Comma Dylan, <laughs> what the fuck was that, dude? I mean, come on, Did man. Best friend, you fucking it's fucked. You just I, I, it's bro, just fucked. No, no, no. I it. it was, it was my mom, my best friend. You could have been like best well, friend, Dylan. Well, I'm, I'm saying best friend, you know. So I don't, I can't, I don't want to say his name, and you know. No, but, no, it's fine. It's fine. You know what I mean? It's okay. So, no, no, don't get me wrong. You no, guys are family. No, 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 it's okay, yeah. David. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> look at him. Look at him. He still said it. Uh, yeah, my best friend, Dylan. Uh, was there also? <laughs> no, nah, but it was just because the m- fucking hospital, right? So, I it was just annoying because since a, I mean, it was early in the morning, right? I'm, it's four a.m. by the time I get to the hospital, and I'm like, call my mom. Just keep blowing up her phone. She's gonna wake up from this, right? Mama Clash over there. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Snoozing. That, was that actually you snoozing or a button? That was him. That was him, you, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> that's Your teeth right. were like that. I'm not, usually, I hear the snore. It's like I don't know, you know, like it's out and open. Right? That, 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 that's the only time I could do ventriloquism. It's like, hey guys, look, I'm sleepy, <laughs> <laughs> bro. And uh, how do you call it? Um, it was just annoying. I'm like, they're trying to blow up. I'm like, I'm telling them, blow up my mom's phone with these phone calls, right? And so my mom wakes up knowing that her son. Uh, just has Brooklyn emergency every time she calls back this number says Brooklyn emergency but they don't t- like they don't leave her a voicemail to tell her which hospital I'm in yeah right can't diagnose and so I was just <laughs> I w- I'm like literally yelling phone 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 and like they don't hear me at all for like a f- few hours 
And then luckily there was this guy, Harry, uh, who just was like in the same room as me, right? He just gets pulled up uh, in his hospital bed. And I see him take out a phone and I'm like, yo, excuse me, sir. I don't mean to apologize. Uh, I don't mean to bother you or anything like that. Like, can I just use your phone real quick to call my mom? Because I'm having a bad moment getting in contact. And literally from when I did that phone call, my mom picked up and that's when she knew where I was in the hospital, like where I was exactly. And I was like, yo, call. Aunt, uh, yeah, I do. cool. Call uh, this guy. He was going to pick you up and take you to the hospital right away just to check up on me. Mm. Yeah. So mom dudes comes to the hospital. Yeah, his mom come was home. He was there. there. And then I, that's the moment I like I woke up. I saw them. I'm like, right, dude. I, oh, you woke up and they were there. Yeah. Oh, because I like I kept I was like, how was, long was that until I got there? I'd say like it felt like 30 minutes. Well, I, I got there, dude. And I mean, I'm just in a panic. I, like, I just need to see my homie. And um, I walk in and uh, and I go. Hey, I'm here to see David Clash. Uh, someone he got stabbed last night. And he's here. I need to see him right now. And they go, um, "Well, yeah, we don't have. I don't think we uh, we don't have anyone by that name." And I go, and there was a moment me and Carolyn like, "Are we at the fucking wrong hospital? No way." And I'm like, "David." And then the one girl who's walking hears me and goes, "David," and I go, "Yes." She goes, "Yeah, he's here." I go, "I need." To, I go, "Clash, Clash, Nicole, whatever." I go, "Your full name." I go, "I don't know how to spell it." And I'm like, "I need to see him right now." They're like, and then the one the girls like. There's only two people allowed back then. Right now, his um, his mom and like uh, his best friend are there. Or, or, I thought I thought they said girlfriend, but I heard it was best friend, I guess. And his friend was there, and um, I was like, "Yo, that's my little brother. I need to see him right the fuck now. I go, I need to see him right now." And then they were like, "Well, we can't. We have to wait." And then I just start asking questions. I'm like, "Where did he get stabbed? What happened?" And the, and the girl, the girl goes like, "Well, he didn't get like stabbed." And I go, "What does that mean?" She goes, "Well, he's slashed across the face." And then she's saying that she's like, I'm not technically supposed to be telling you this. And thank God there was a cop who was sitting next to her, kind of just like, kind of just Jay chilling. Like he's just sitting in the chair, just kind of like, yeah, chilling. And he can kind of hear me doing this. And I'm looking at him. I could see his eyes. So I'm like, and I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of pl- trying to play to his heartstrings. And I just look at him. I go, I go, bro, I need to see my little brother like now. I go, I, there's not, I'm not, I, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to. I know y'all have a lot going on, but I was like, I need, I gotta get in there. And then he, the, the cop goes. Though I'll take care of it, guys. Uh, what's your name? And I go, say Dylan's here. Dylan. And he goes, all right, bet. And the cop walks back there. And that's when he said, he was like, yo, Dylan's here. And then his, yo, and I felt bad because his mom and the friend had to come out so me and Carolyn can go see him. Mm-hmm. So that's like me and Carolyn went and saw you. And immediately, it, well, this motherfucker had his pants like the side, like by the end of the bed, full oh, of blood. Yeah. Shoes bloody. He want he wore the same shoes today, cleaned. This dude's ridiculous. This guy's crazy, son. This is ridiculous. This guy took a toothbrush. No, crazy. I this, got, guy, this guy got slashed in the face and took a toothbrush to his shoes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm so, like, superstitious. I'd be like, it must have been the shoes. The shoes were unlucky. <laughs> my brother's like that, yo. Yo, I swear. Brother, I would have like, never, 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 never worn the shoes again. My brother goes to a, He has a bad game shooting the ball. That was the shoes. It was the shoes. It was the shoes. Man. And I wore the wrong shorts today, dog. No, I'm not I cutting up like... today. Sorry, I didn't mean to say cut like that. Uh, no, I'm not cutting up today. It's the shoes. It's oh, the shoes. Bro, I was, uh, I was on the way to the hospital. And um, as soon as I heard slashed instead of stabbed. You turned around? I, nah. Oh. Nah. I... <laughs> cancel my uber <laughs> i was like i'm gonna take the train dog no nah, it was an 80 dollar uber i ain't had the money like no that. no nah. i was like nah, bro nah, the fact yo the, when i came out of the hospital and then we were like a stop away and then a stab away a, a stab, <laughs> we were a stab away we were before a, ordering that uber <laughs> i really thought you said stab which is yeah we were a stab away i no, think you I, did <laughs> i got out of the hospital oh, and i was like and you were telling me Kevin and DC were pulling up, and I was just like, "Bro, oh, you wanted to stay? No, 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 no. Wait for this, bro. Wait for this. Wait for this." So finally, crazy, the lady bro. goes, "Lady goes, lady goes, girlfriend, lady goes. He's good. He can go home, rest up. We'll see him Monday or whatever the fuck, whatever they said to you. We'll talk to you. We'll call you." So we're outside, and I told him, "Yo, Kevin, he's, every, as we're walking outside, he keeps going. Where's Kevin DC? Where's Kevin DC? I go, bro. They're on the way. Don't worry about. Don't worry about them." We get outside. We're in the, the summer heat. Yeah, it's like heat. Nah, it's a it's hot, hot. bro. Like your wounds opening up. Like, <laughs> I, like yeah, it's hot. And we're standing outside, and he's like, "Yo, where's Kevin DC?" I go, "Bro, just go home. You're good." And I see him go, turn to his uh, his fucking mom, and goes, 
Babushka, Babushka, Russian stuff. And it starts speaking Russian. And I literally go, hey, man, I don't speak Russian, but I'm pretty sure you're trying to convince your mom to stand out here and wait for Kevin DC. Go the fuck home. And I watch his mom kind of have like a smirk and your friend's like, yeah, David, let's let's go, bud. And David really was going to stand outside in the heat and wait for you guys to show up to the hospital. I would have hated myself as a person if you did that. But mm. I'm glad that you're safe, buddy. Kevin? I'm happy that what? You would have not shown up. No. <laughs> for, a, for a man with a cut face. A man who had a cut face is sitting outside like a puppy. As soon as, uh, no, well, as soon as. And you don't show. <laughs> no, no, no. I was right there. I was that's literally his, right fucking his, there. I, I had a feeling, bro. I was like, bro, he, he's going to pull up in the next five minutes. I was I five you. minutes away. Yeah. DC was also five minutes away. And then I, su- there was, I texted him and I was like, don't worry don't, about it. Don't worry. And I was like, all right, I guess I'm going fi- to figure out some shit to do. In, in Benson, her no, no, not in Benson, her Sunset Park. <laughs> yeah, mean, bro, that's that was a wild day, bro. It's not every day that uh, a buddy of yours gets slapped <laughs> in the face. You know what's uh, crazy? I thought I was out of that life. No, <laughs> I thought I was out of that. I life. thought I avoided it. <laughs> uh, I, I, yeah, I thought I, I, <laughs> I was like, wow. Yeah, I, mean, I thought I thought I was from Coney. I thought they were like, that, let the white kid go to the blurry. city. Did I, did I blink? You know when you blink and oh, everything gets blurry for a second? Is everything okay? So it's good over there. Okay. I thought I, had, I thought I had David slash on my eye or something. Oh. I was, it would look blurred. It's, it's contagious. <laughs> um, when you, I mean, thank no, God. Let's talk, let's talk thank about God the overwhelming support. support dog. Bro, that's what kept me it. up, bro. That's what really kept me up because it was like once I heard, like, I woke up, I got back home, took a nap, I woke up, and people were something like, "Bro, this GoFundMe, it's like you're gonna be okay." So you, and so, I was like. Holy shit. So, like, literally... Because uh, Carol- when bad shit happens to you, I'm sorry. Yeah, when bad know. shit happens to you, your life don't stop. Like, life and, don't stop when bad shit happens and to that's, you. And that's what I was scared about. Like, and that's why we made the GoFundMe. Um, bro, Me and my girlfriend, you. Carolyn. Don't say thank you, bro. You're good. Like, me and my girlfriend, Carolyn, we're like... But we were just worried. Thank you, motherfucker. No, no I'm, I'm appreciative. Da- nah, he <laughs> said thank you enough. <laughs> no, because, like... Bro, you really are like my younger bro, bro. Like, it, you're you're part of the family. You, and it, it goes beyond doped up. I mean, like, I I would have I I I don't think you understand how stressful those hours were for even us. I mean, actually, I think it was a little more stressful for you. <laughs> but um, like, you know, it's so funny, bro. You know how crazy me and my girlfriend are. Is after David got stabbed, we went back to my house and um, I had to go get blood work done. And I was like, yo, and I was gonna dodge it. I wasn't gonna do it. And I was like, yo, if David can get stabbed in the face, I can get a needle in my arm. And then and I made my girlfriend. Is a motivational tool. Yeah, I did. And then, and then that guy also used the stabbing as a <laughs> motivational tool. <laughs> hey, bro, you're gonna get motivated. Give me that goddamn phone. <laughs> and um, oh, we gotta speak about that dude too. But no, dude, me and Kalen were so shook. <laughs> no, this is who we are. <laughs> me and Kalen are such idiots, bro. We like went about and got like ice cream and lush and like, cause like we, I, I, I had to like treat my girlfriend. To like, cause she was like, bro, she was just like, if I sit at home, I'm going to just sit here and listen to this girl go, oh my God, David, oh my God, oh my God. I was like, yo, I'm so sick of the, oh my God. So after I got my blood work, I was like, hey, why don't we walk home, go get some shit. I was like, I get you like, I got her like, I got her like Froyo or some shit. Bro, that's how I felt low key too. Cause like my mom. Kept... I would've got you Froyo, you were with me. And bro, bro. You know what, I, what was funny is that like my mom was like, bro, this is like your second birthday. You know, cause Aww. it's like, cause it's like a moment where you can appreciate your mm. life mm. and, and like the other people also can appreciate it as well. And I was like, yeah, ma, this does feel like my second birthday. Cause reading these text messages got annoying, man. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> bro, like you mean to tell me that like some people You're heard mad people, bro, mad people, uh, bro. Wait, and ready, thank ready, you. Ready? This just in David's pretty goddamn loved. <laughs> bro it is so funny because it's like it's like people hear that i nearly lost my eye and the first thing they do is send a paragraph <laughs> <laughs> yo he's funny yo that's, oh, that's fucking funny shit. bro Young david only one person hey, sent a voice memo <laughs> <laughs> only one person I know, I, who was that you know who that was you know who that was DC Williams. <laughs> bro. God damn it, DC. I hate you. <laughs> bro. I hate you. Uh, and I'm like, bro, I, I would have just gotten the voice notes yo, instead. Oh, that is hilarious. The one time motherfuckers should use a voice note. They did it. <laughs> they they did, did it. it. 
That's really funny. <laughs> yeah, I called you. I yeah, I know. I text messaged you at Yeah, all. bro. I, I was waiting for, I was waiting just to get my phone, like a new phone. Like a dummy, I called you. <laughs> and left a voicemail. Bro, I I saw nine voicemails once I like got a new phone. Yeah. And then I'm just like, I'm going through, I'm like, holy shit, so many people called. And then four of them are just like Chinese scam calls. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and, you know, one of them was like student loans. And, and it's like, like hey, a, can you pay? It starts off literally with the same fucking phonetic. And I'm just like, all right, you don't know what? Voice, I'm, I'm, I'm not. Say, I'll say you're facing <laughs> your career. Um, wait, Hello. So, <laughs> so, wait, so what I also want to talk about is, so me and Carolyn, we get home around like five. I just, you know, took her on her yeah. little, uh, yeah, PM. And I get home and I get a text from your number. I go, oh, he must have moved it over. And we were reading it before. Now I'll, I'll read some of it. Hold up. Let's see where it is. So, David, your number starts texting the podcast. The doped up chat. The doped up podcast group chat. Natal- the one that Natalie's also in. Wow, where the fuck is it? David, do you have no other friends that the first group chat? No, he bro. Just like, <laughs> bro, I'm waiting for them to say it because five other people also got this text message. And in response, they just sent memes instead. <laughs> so it's like literally one person got the te- um, the text message. If I'm not if um, if I'm not mistaken, was I have um, David send me five hundred dollars and, West, yo, and yo, Western DC- Union. No ID. And then DC responds with. Broke ass bitch, only five hundred dollars. <laughs> Bro, that shit. I did think it was a joke at first. There was part of me that was like, "Nah, it was so so that so." He's sorry. not being held find, hostage. So I found out literally. I woke up because I was on a phone call with my girl, and I was she was just like, "Cause mind you, my girl was in Paris." That's, that's oh yeah. A, can the, we talk up, bro? You're <laughs> bro. What? Where? Where was she? What was, she was in Paris, right? When she found out about this, she was on vacation. She's like at literally the top of the Eiffel Tower, nah, thinking about was, her loved one and being like, "This motherfucker got slashed across the face." <laughs> bro, no, she was at the Versailles instead, and she finds she out at the Versace of, store. No, the Versace. Damn, good for you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, the you know the pa- the palace Versailles where they had the Treaty of Versailles. For oh, okay. Versailles. He was talking about he was talking about how he knows history. He doesn't know what the Versailles is. <laughs> hey, 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 man! You almost lost your fucking Versailles. Yeah. Aye, aye. Aye. He knows about American history. Oh, right, oh America! Ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, bro, can we do, can you say what we're gonna do for Oppenheimer? Oh, once the bomb drops, we, we yo, just yo, gonna yo, yell ready, USA. Ready, yo, ready? ready. <laughs> So we're all, we're all, I bought everyone tickets for Oppenheimer tonight, uh, uh, 70 millimeter. And right when that bomb drops, Natalie, we got one more ticket. You're invited for this. And Nat, bro, Natalie, the second that bomb drops in Oppenheimer, it goes, USA, USA, you. <laughs> so, so the dude starts texting us asking for money. I call the detective that was on the case already. And I start so the yo, this is why I love New York City cops. I take it back. New York City cops actually kind of rule. Well, detectives. Detectives. Okay, New York City Big cops difference. down here. Detectives up here. You know who watched Law and Order more? The detectives and the regular cops. Oh, you know, you're they, right. You know, you're right. You could tell, like you know, because the Law and Order at least they look like they're reasonable cops. Bro, you know, I every find character. The text. I want to find the text. So I, I call this cop, and he goes, "Wait, how did you have the cop number?" Uh, from uh, his friend, his best friend. Oh, okay. From his best friend. <laughs> And uh, no, so I call the detective and uh, I'm like, yo, the dude's texting us right now asking for fucking ransom money. And the guy starts telling me how to talk to him. I guess you weren't in the group chat. You didn't see this. Didn't see so the this. cop goes, the cop goes, all right, um, tell him 500 is nothing. Call him a bum. Offer him 700. <laughs> you lie. He didn't do that. Swear you my lie. life. <laughs> and he goes, he goes, he goes, say that ain't nothing to you. Say you live in the Bronx, that you live by Yankee Stadium, pull up. Um, say say y'all give you seven hundred for that phone right now, and then come a pussy a couple times. <laughs> Swear my life. You lie. I'm not. I'm that. telling you. What? When I read them real? earlier, when I read them earlier, does it not word for word sit like that? Oh <laughs> shit! What? Bro, bro, I thought you guys. Was, bro, hold on. Bro, I, hold me on. Hold and on. Hold on. I, hold on. I think it's back. I was in the group chat, and I'm looking at it. I'm like, what are these idiots doing? <laughs> you and me both, Kev. That's exactly what Bro, I did. I found out because you screenshotted the group chat oh, said and sent it to Dasha. Uh, and then Dasha's like, yo, you know that he's texting off your phone? I'm like, wait, what? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So the dude's texting us and I'm calling him, calling him a pussy. And I'm on the phone with the detective. And the detective's just mad chill about it. He's like, all right. 
He's done this before. He's getting confident. You know, let's just you know, keep texting him. See if you can get him on the hook to meet up for somewhere. Nah, but this is what I, this is what I'm saying was confusing. This is why I also they had to first responder cops, right? Oh no, because back in the hospital, mm-hmm. right? This guy, this cop comes up to me who was the one of the first people that saw me. He's like, "Hey, bro, would you get stabbed?" <laughs> he's like, "Hey, bro, you guys are all idiots, bro." He's you guys like, are all retards. He's like, he's like, pass me your find my iPhone pass, uh, your your info, and I'm like. Nah, I'm not giving you my password, right? Wait, bro, what? you do you know when I got to the the hospital? You know when I got to the hospital, him and his his best friend comes walking in and like, okay, you know Jonah Hill in The Wolf of Wall Street? That's how I describe your best friend to you. You're Leo, he's Jonah Hill. He's like kind of just like a nebbishy Russian guy. He's like, hey, David, hey, David, put your, put your information over here. And he's like kind of just like a nebbishy dude. And uh and, and dude they come walking in and both of them That's a great goes, description honestly of the brand, it is. right? And Holy and, shit. and he goes he goes, oh, yeah, yeah, the cop wanted you to find my iPhone. We didn't get it to him because we don't fuck with the pig still. And I was like, <laughs> yo, this my guy, man this is stabbed in the face. Send Wait, the I, password. I, I, I'm really confused here. Why didn't you want, why didn't you want to give the cop your uh, so I'm, password? I, they're fuck 12. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just that? Yeah, just that, bro, because it's like. Even I'll, when they're trying to help you, <laughs> he's like, he's like, I'm not giving, I'm like, I'm not giving you a password, I'm like, unless I'm typing it in. Oh, by right? the way, because I don't want him to know my shit. I don't know this guy personally. I understand. And you know what I yeah. mean? I don't. Well, who the fuck are That's you to so be funny. having he goes, my password? He goes, he goes. Uh, what's email? You go, a cab. Fuck <laughs> at gmail dot com, bro. Pussy. And what's so, what's the password? All cops are pussies. <laughs> and how do you call it? Um. Shit, well, I forgot what I was gonna say. So he does such a ridiculous amount of effort because my my hands are all still covered in blood, even though I'm in the hospital bed, right? And he's fucking trying to wash my hands mm-hmm. just to type in this password. This dude does not put my phone on lost mode. You I know, know I, yeah, I don't know what none of this so, means. So, so, so the robber doesn't understand phones. He never put. So, there's a way you can disable find my mm-hmm. iPhone, especially if you know the password. Mm-hmm. He never did that. Mm. So you gotta know. I think so. Now, this dude is not only texting other people to be like, "Hey, what's up? Like, give me money." And then he's also never turned off on my iPhone. So I'm talking to David on the phone, and he actually called me like a couple minutes later. We're just talking like bullshit. We're just talking about this dude. It's crazy shit. And then you go, yo, I'm on, I'm on my iPhone right now. The, the phone just popped back up. And then I go, I literally go, I'm hanging up right now. Call the detective. I hang up. About 30 minutes later, an hour later, like two hours I think went by. I te- I called David or your, your friend, and I go, what's, what's up? What's the word? And David goes... I'm um, I'm at the station right now where I, I'm I di- I'm about to identify him. So, how did you identify? I mean, did you- cameras. Cameras. He was wearing the same outfit <laughs> for 13 hours. <laughs> by the way, not a single shower way, in that hot summer day, huh? Bro, he was wearing a Bum. hoodie. He was wearing a hoodie. He was wearing a hoodie. 98 was, degrees in a he hoodie. He was wearing like a a, a mids ass hoodie. I don't know. I don't want to talk. I don't even know what the brand of the hoodie was, but he was wearing ye- like Yeezys and blue jeans. He was wearing. He was wearing. Uh, he was, you know what's funny? It would have been like he was wearing Canal Street Yeezys. <laughs> Because <laughs> let's be real. Nah, he he like, bought those Yeezys for fifty dollars. Nah, he was wearing nah, <laughs> nah, nah. He was wearing church have Yeezys. That means he just stole it from somebody he else. Just stole it from church. <laughs> okay. So when you identify on the dude, are you like behind the two way glass type shit so he can't see? Nah, no, no, no. So he was like, I mean, bro, they arrested him in the Bronx and like they they gonna drag him all the way to all the way in the Bronx. Yeah, damn, he was having wait. a long day, bro. Bro, yeah, wait, wait, and wait, not wait, to wait, mention, wait, wait, right? Wait, wait, wait. So, but if you're. The train that you were on doesn't lead up to where he was caught. No. So he was on that no, train. No, he was running, I bet. Bro, no. Dasha was telling me that when he was track, she was tracking my phone like from 7 a.m. What? Yeah, she had my location. Because I was supposed to call. So we had a phone call before I got on that train. She was like, it's like I'm going to call you as soon as I wait, uh, get service, right? So that mm-hmm. way we can talk and shit. And then right? you went sleepy, sleepy, noo noo time. <laughs> And and I woke up and, and and woke up with a boo boo instead. <laughs> you went new new. Woke up you with went new new. Woke up with a boo boo. Thank God for the juju. They got you. <laughs> <laughs> they got you the this go fund me moo moo. <laughs> uh, woo hoo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thirsty. Y'all wanted you, uh, bro. <laughs> And um, Man, I had that coffee. I need a doo doo, bro. But she was telling me that my phone's bouncing <laughs> all throughout the train, bro. This dude was in Rockaway. 
He went he Brooklyn met, by the beach? Bro, no. Nah. <laughs> Queens, not even Yo, Brooklyn. Uh, oh, I drove, I drove away Queens? But yeah. Yo, this motherfucker was in all five boroughs? He was in, in 13 all, hours? In 13 hours. So he lives on the train. He's homeless. For that for that time period, I guess. 100 homeless. I mean, he's on the At run. Some point, he, he's, he's always on, moving. It doesn't mean. I mean, to be fair, if you're on the run, you're homeless. Yeah, it's true. 100. percent Um. So, so, you walk into the fucking precinct. What do you do? What do they say to you? They're just like, "Hey, man, we got him." Like, what? They, what? What's just? They're like, like showing me footage. They were showing me footage. I'm like, yo, is this the guy? Footage of uh, of the train or footage is like him getting a picture off. Of him. The guy getting off the train and because um, they got the angle because I, I always know where I get off on the train because pause. <laughs> get off on uh, the train. Uh, um, cool. uh, how do you call it? Because how do you call Resume. it? Um, I, I The way I when I travel on the trains is that I always make sure that I get off at the sp- at right out the exit. Mm-hmm. You know, so that Gotta way. know where to get off. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Especially when you're running a train. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There the answer you go. is on her face. <laughs> All right. Enough. All right. Oh, no. <laughs> enough. Um, but th- literally, they show the camera footage of the train, of the guy popping out of this, the fucking cart. Mm-hmm. And it's like, it looks like he's like, like he has the phone put in the pocket and they have angle. I'm like, I, I didn't see the shoes. And then they showed a different angle. I'm like, those shoes, I know. You, you saw the shoes when... I well, saw the looking sh- down I saw the shoes. He was wearing a hoodie, and I even confused the hoodie for like a like a shiesty mask instead, mm. because I was it was just so covered up. I couldn't see his eyes. Did like you that. see him face to face again? Nah, I don't know the guy's name even. Oh, so they didn't like put him in a lineup. They were like they showed you a video. They were like, and I'm then, pretty sure it's him. And they were, and it was so funny because it was. He like, also, by the way, because the detective, he has the phone. bro, the detective is just like, look, he's like, because he saw me getting nervous about identifying, because I was just like. Man. Is this guy him? Like it, you were looking. Yeah. yeah. You, know, oh, you, know, you don't want to put a, an innocent person behind bars. That's a, that's a, yeah, that's a, a, which is a, a normal thing that's to do. Because like, in my head, I'm like, yo, because I'm going to be real with you. Until they said you, they recovered the phone. As soon as they say he recovered the phone, I was like, man, that guy's but that, really Is that dumb. what the cops said to you? Is that, that's what the cops said to you. He goes, by the way. He's like, he's like, bro, he's like, I see you nervous. I get it. He has right? your phone. He's like, but look. He's like, he had, we, we found him with, with the, the phone. phone. So if you think it's him. Probably it's him. He's like, he's like, if it talks like a duck and yeah, walks, walks like a it. duck. Is that what he said? Yeah, really? it's a fucking duck. And I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, you know, you don't sound really woke. What if it's a geese? You know, <laughs> it's just like an old racist cop. He's like, if it walks like a duck and it sounds like a duck, it's a black guy. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, yo. And then he's just like, we found them like a couple hours before. And that's why, like, he was like, he literally told me to ring off the phone. Like, you know how you could uh, find my iPhone? Yeah. If you lose it, you could just click a sound to see maybe you misplaced it like that. Mm-hmm. And he's doing the sound, and it's, apparently it was just ringing off his fucking pocket. While you while he was in jail? No, no, like, while they could fucking, like, because they- Found him? Yeah. <laughs> the phone's ringing while they found him, dude. Hey, you want to get that? Hey, can, hey you want to get that? It is really funny that this dude stole a phone with a doped up and dying sticker on it, though. It's pretty, oh, no, it's pretty fucking no, metal. No sticker. Uh, <laughs> I wish. Why? I wish, bro. So I would have loved to put a sticker on that, but the back screen was just so cracked from previous do you, endeavors. Do you think the guy saw your wallpaper with you and your beautiful girlfriend and was like, he has a good enough life. This guy's good. He can deal with this. Do you think he was just jealous? He's probably jealous. Mm. I mean, 500 bucks. He hit up a few friends. Yo, he, he honestly, was trying to hit a lick. By the way, honestly... No, no, we should do. Who's a friend? Let's have a GoFundMe for the guy. <laughs> nah, fuck that, dude. <laughs> yeah, fuck that, dude. I'm who's the guy? Who's the person you think they were like would have read that? I'm like, oh my god, I need to save David and send the five hundred. Who on your phone would have done that? Yeah, who's an idiot enough? Me. <laughs> it's me. It's literally. Yo, me. okay. Uh, you see, because I I still didn't get the phone back, so I don't know who he texted other than specific got, people, because that got a screenshot, right? Yeah, yeah. So it was this chat. It was, well, and obviously you guys were already knew. It was my friend Paula and my other friend Alex. By the way. Paula I, just got a, after, she sent a paragraph, and then the guy sent SMH, like so many H's, and then sent the ransom note. Yeah, most of people funny. I will say this. I heard, I heard that the robber uh, took his phone. And requested Rowie five uh, w- asked Rowie for five hundred dollars, and Rowie requested five hundred from him. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's that's crazy. <laughs> well, then not, bro. I need the money. <laughs> um, David, I mean, 
it, uh, uh, it's it's an insane story. Um, thank you for being alive. Thank you for being here. I'm grateful to be here. Um, this is your first day out and about since being slashed. Yeah, I was in Coney for like the last weeks. Just, just recovering. Just chilling. Just I mean, I, any any anything like in the in those moments where you're alone. You're hanging there, you're hanging out. You don't have a phone for a little while. Like, the phone was peaceful. You know, I I, I remember texting you guys. It's like. Getting robbed is a good way to clear your head. You yeah, know? you texted yeah, me. Like, because like, yeah. it was like, you know, you, you have no phone for I bet a you were of... dodging a lot of annoying calls that Bro, day. Bro. Like, you got, out, you got out of a lot of calls. You know what's funny? People started calling and texting me, and it got to a point where I was like, guys, I didn't get stuff. Yeah, people started DMing me, and I was like, I didn't get you know, first of all, you know Kev. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, this is a great time to announce. We didn't do plugs. Guys, if you want to come see David Clash perform, put it back up. You want to? I gotta get the music up. Oh, okay, guys. If you want to come see David Clash perform, making his debut post getting stabbed, David, aka David Clash. I mean, David. You can Slash. hear the story in a funny way now. You can hear the story. You can hear it all again live. In and uh, get he's David Gash now. David Slash. Look at you, Natalie. Um, so guys, you zoom out a little bit on this, on this so people can see the date. Guys, Thursday, July twenty seventh. This. Next week, 10, 10 p.m., p.m. Main, main room. Free goodie bag joint with every ticket. Guys, come see David Clash make his debut after getting slashed. Um, David, is there anything that you want to tell the people? Definitely use this time now to, I guess, say thank you for all the GoFundMe. And, bro, you had big comics come out for your support. Bro, I, bro this is, like, I've been in good spirits since I got out of the hospital just seeing the people around me. And because it's like, I, I also still got to see friends still during this time period who came 100%. through to visit. We all chilled and everything like that. So, I, and, and then seeing the GoFundMe, hearing some of the names, I was just like, holy shit, man. I'm really thankful to be in this. Just Kirsten, this, Aaron Berg. Bro, it's a crazy list. It's a, it's a list you that. You can put together a show with the people who donated. It's ridiculous. It's, uh, festival. it's festival. at 13K right now. Look at that. Guys, go get to the 15K. And I, I am like. I'm, I'm like it's just crazy it's like i i feel weird trying to in, like endorse it you yeah. know what i mean I know. but it's like i'm thankful for everybody who helped out i look saw at, so many people look at the camera look at the camera david <laughs> i'm the 50 cent of comedy now that's it guys. that's it that's it <laughs> that's crazy uh kevin you want to say anything to people um yeah i don't feel like promoting anything but the shows uh, you know what time it is. You know the Dope Duck family. A lot of people hitting us up. Kevin's going back to high school. That's why he shaved. <laughs> I got a role at uh with uh, Donnie Wahlberg. It's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a good time. <laughs> um, guys, come out to the shows. Um, a new weekly show coming soon. Stay tuned for that information. We'll announce soon. A lot of big things coming up. The road, all that stuff coming up. But until then, guys. Um, July twenty seventh at the stand. And if you can't make that one, we already uh, confirmed. Uh, Dylan, let's just be real. They're not doing comedy shows like us. Oh no, no is y'all do? Is these are the comedy shows. They boring. Is this comic after comic, and they just talking the <laughs> strange shit. I went to therapy this week. Shut the fuck Uh-oh, up. Uh oh, retard alert. <laughs> retard. <laughs> Get off stage. Boring. Our shows are different. Our shows are some of the best shows around. It actually, honestly, is the best show. It gets wild. It gets crazy. Guys, come out to Dope Dope Comedy Show. And also, remember, we are the last Thursday now, officially the last Thursday of every month, 10 p.m. main room of the stand. So Ooh, the next show is, is that, August. Is that official? It's official. August 31st is the next Dope Dope Show. I'm pretty sure it's already on the website. So if you want to buy tickets to that one, go to that one. Ooh. Last Thursday of every month. Doped up comedy takes over the stand. Ooh, last Thursday, Thursday every month. You like baby. that, right? You know, I like that. Hey, get your paychecks up. <laughs> Juju, make sure your boo boos become no doo doo. It's like a perfect that. pregame right. for a Shabbat, you know. And <laughs> <laughs> it's a perfect way to bring in a Shabbat. I like that. And before we get on, guys, give it up for Natalie DeChico. Natalie, where the fuck are my clips? Uh, well, Natalie, there you are. Hey. <laughs> Hey, uh, so I'm a producer now at Gas Digital. That's Ooh. what I got to plug. So gang, I've gang. been a little swamped with uh, a couple other shows. Uh, but I'll get you your clips. I got a couple. We got a 
take down David being like, why would you uh, send me paragraphs right now? I have no eyes. That was really funny. That was very fun. We got to definitely flip that. So we gotta, we're we going to have a lot of fun stuff from this episode and from last episode. Guys. Oh, I didn't actually plug. Natalie DeChico edits on Instagram. <laughs> yes. Watch Gas Digital now on YouTube. Yes. Please. I can't wait to see that. Uh, Guys, go support. To see DC Williams. Shout out DC Williams out in uh, Seattle, Washington. Yes. Probably killing them right now. I did text DC. I said, hey, man, your material is all right over there. <laughs> <laughs> but feel free to use some of mine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all, I'm gonna text you like, yo, use the Dylan bit. Use the Dylan bit. <laughs> hey, man, just use the two broke. Use the use the hitter. Pretend you got and pretend you got slashed in the face. You know? <laughs> <laughs> um, I forgot to do it up top, but we always like to, we always have to read a comment off every episode. Um, this is from Axel Died Tamigo. Um, great performance from DC. This is from the last episode where DC went off as Kanye West. Yo, it was one I'm of the wrong. that, that where, was we, amazing. Where is that? Cl- we need that. We need we that. Need that. Natalie, I hope you know I'm gonna take out shout out Nat up top soon. That's officially gonna get out. Oh, When's the last time you shouted me out up top? When's the last last time you sent me a clip? <laughs> All right, you know what? I'm hurt. Okay, Natalie, I'm lashing out. It's okay. Um, lashing out? That's pretty disrespectful. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm slashing out, guys. I'm sla- yeah, bro, I'm I, barely, sla- I barely I'm got half of out. these eyelashes working. Now you're talking about lashes now. God damn. <laughs> um, David, um, from the bottom of my heart, I really mean this. You are one of the nicest. People, I don't want to say kid because it's not even like you're one of the nicest people I've ever met. Um, one of the most genuine people, and you are genuinely, I'm, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Thank God you're actually funny, because bro, <laughs> I, I couldn't have any, I couldn't have any whack dudes with us. So bro, <laughs> thank you for being one of the most, you know, go getting, hardworking comics out there. Also, actually being funny, but also just being one of the best homies out there, dog. I mean, uh, they go fun. That's why I say there's no thank you needed because. Uh, dope, dope wasn't paying you. Um, so, <laughs> so I'm ha- I'm happy to take care of you. There, I mean, we were taking care of you, but we, you know, we do what we can. Right. Um, no, I'm I'm really thankful. People provide. Yeah, people provide. People I mean, provide when you were good. When you're good. When you're a good person. You this, when you, I was telling you this over the phone. When you're a good dude, for uh, listen, I've seen a lot of people get into accidents, put up some stuff, and they're like, yeah, but well, you know what? Nah, you probably deserved it. No, you know? this is what and, I'm saying before. Uh, you, You've said this before, the cut, and I feel like I could say this after the cut. You guys, that eyes make me feel like one of the luckiest guys in this world, just being in this collective and everything, man. Like, it gets the people going. Bro, it's just like, <laughs> it's amazing. Like, like just seeing that support, you know? It was you just like, everybody. Because I, I didn't know I had that backing up. And of course. It just, seeing all of that was just amazing. Thank and you, everybody. Shit. Yeah, thank you to Mark Zuckerberg. As, I mean, sorry. Yeah, Zuckerberg <laughs> as well for providing us the platform. Oh, yeah. Thank, shout out Zuck. To... Because I mean, Matt, people no, 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 seven hundred people. And, no, 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 no. And, and, oh, shout out, and, no, no, shout out, doped up. Shout, shout out, out the people. Not fuck, yeah. fuck Zuck. Shout out, doped up. You know what? Shout out Steve Jobs for find my iPhone. How about that? <laughs> shout out Steve shout Jobs. Jobs. Wozniak too. I'll, uh, we'll lump you in. Yeah, there. Wa- you know what? All right. Everyone forgets about the Wozniak. Ah, I'm getting angry again. You know, like if I feel like Wozniak, Wozniak in my career. You know, if yeah, I feel like they, I feel like they try to make Wozniak memorable by giving him, uh, by having him played by What's Seth Rogen. Rogen? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I watched that scene. There's a scene where they bug out, where, right? That that's a there's, there's two Steve Jobs movies. One oh, where okay. Ashton Kutcher plays Steve Jobs. Shitty movie. The second movie, oh, right. some random guy plays Michael Steve Jobs. Fassbender. That's Magneto from uh, the Sh- First Class. Sure. Um, but they have Seth Rogen play who's the bigger person play Wozniak so there's a scene of this you're incorrect by the way why a, Michael Fassbender is a very famous actor bigger Bruh. than Seth Rogen yes wait bro. oh really? Seth Rogen on a, on a, no on a, on show me Michael Fassbender no but they're up there show me Michael Fassbender bro he did like four... that's what the dude from Futurama no that's the four uh, the X-Men he was the, the young Magneto and X-Men first class and X-Men Days of Future Past. You, 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 I, I mean, yeah, I don't give a fuck about actors anyway. <laughs> Mans was sin- was was in movies since 300. He was in the 300 movie. He was in the 300? Yeah, yeah. bro. Uh, that's No, that's Bill Hader. Scroll up. And he was in oh, Prometheus. I need, see his face. I need to see his face. I don't need to see his itinerary. I don't know why I said itinerary. He's What's always that? acting as, like, different bro, stuff. Bro, bro, right bro, bro. Seth Rogen. The- Seth Rogen. Joe Rogen's bigger than this dude. Joe Rogan's bigger than a lot of people. Oh, you're right. Okay. <laughs> All the Rogans are bigger than this dude. All right, All right. He's not, I get it. I get, he's a working fucking person. I get it. Nah, he's cool. Um, All right, he's cool. Shout guys, out Michael Fassbender, man. Um, <laughs> seriously, uh, thank you guys again for your support of David. Thank you for taking care of him. Um, 
this has been uh, one of the one a, a, a very interesting episode. I, I love that we have to do just a full story the entire episode. To the guy that uh, commented last week, um, great episode, but it uh, got off a little too slow. Hope this one was a little faster for you, you mm-hmm. fucking cuck. Um, so, uh, guys, uh, shout out DC in Seattle. Hopefully next week we're talking about DC's dub in mm-hmm. Seattle. Hopefully, hopefully he comes home with Kenan Thompson. Yeah, you know if him and Kenan Thompson become boys, we'll never hear him from DC again. That's not true. I believe my boy will hit me up. Yeah, he's gonna use my joke tonight. So. <laughs> <laughs> he's already leaving my C- uh, he's already leaving my DMs undelivered. So, yeah, guys, thank you, thank you so much for joining another episode of Doped Up Comedy. I'm Dylan J Negri. That's Kevin Sanchez. That's David Clash. That's Natalie Chico. We are Doped Up Comedy, guys. You're unset. You're unsettled, and now you're reset, and you're and you're nice and settled. Go off on your Sunday. Go conquer the world. We'll see you next week. Thank you. Oh.